Have you ever seen that mobile game where you've got to draw like lines so that it can deflect water that goes into the cup and then the cup gets happy when it's full? And have you ever wondered how a real drainage engineer that has 10 years experience in drainage would get on with this? Well, if so, we're about to find out. Because yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to Happy Glass, a game about making a glass happy. Now, what I learned with a decade of drainage experience is that water flows downhill. Yeah, and the key to this is you've got you to gotta draw. So like the more you draw, can you see that bar's going up? So if you if you go over a certain amount, that bar is empty. You're not going to get any stars, uh, even if you do fill up the glass with water. So in order to do this with the least amount of ink, I reckon, I guess we could probably just do like that. Nice. And that fills up our little bottle to 42%, gives us some coins, and then we get three stars. Oh, and the opportunity to watch an advert. And we definitely want that because we get a free prize. So this video is brought to you by manscaped.com. Christmas came early this year because I got gifted the new Manscaped performance package, but I'm going to need a beautiful assistant to help me open this thing. There he is. Good boy, Paddy. Good boy. So with the box open, we have the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit. The Lawn Mower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer has advanced skin safe technology to make trimming your more sensitive areas much safer. Safety first, as I always say. There's even an LED light so you can see exactly what you're doing. For a stocking stuffer, we have the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. Sorry, Paddy, these don't apply to you anymore. I shouldn't laugh. And lads, as you get older, you're going to start getting nose and ear hair. So the Weed Whacker has you covered and has the same skin safe technology. Not only that, but for a limited time, this flap contains two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag, as well as Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxes. Mmm, anti-chafing. So head to manscaped.com and use my code RealCivilEngineer to get 20% off free international shipping, plus the two free gifts now. Okay, now I could do similar thing, just do diagonal. I'm sort of thinking though, I probably want to do a bit of a curve. Like think think Tony Hawk, think half pipe. Oh yes, look at the speed. Look at the speed perfectly into the glass. And that's another three stars. Right, for this one, I sort of want to see whether I can make water jump. So I feel like I want I want like a I want like a ramp there. I mean, perhaps I can hook this like over that side. So as it comes down, oh no, it, it doesn't do a jump at all. I mean it does. It just misses the glass. Oh, we got a little bit. Of, look how surprised he was. Yeah, so yeah, basically, I've just got to, I just got to bridge the gap, haven't I? So I'll tell you what, I built a bridge. You know what that means? It's time for a bridge review. An inverted truss bridge with three triangular sections. The construction is so precise that water can travel across it without leaking through. Overall, I give this bridge a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Bridge review. Anyway, we've just unlocked a schlong with some leaves and a face on. Oh no, it's a, it's a pen. It's just a pen. Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, no thanks, though. Just watch the ad. Look, we're twitching. Watch the ad. Not this time. I did actually, I bought premium on this just to get rid of the adverts. They're driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I might sort of, I might try and do like a poly bridge type thing. So I do like a ramp like that and then shove it down like that. That should, oh, it gets pushed off by the water. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. I mean, I'm sort of, I sort of feel like, it sort of looks like a seat. Like I could imagine like a person there and they're happy because they're sat down on their ass doing nothing. So yeah, there you go. They're just lying back with their feet up. <laughs> oh, they're getting so wet. Like it's all on their lap. Oh, no. No, not enough water went in. His feet were too big. Right, there you go. His mom's told him to put his feet off the table. <laughs> uh, and his big feet are down there, which means we got all the water in. Oh, and our bottle's 84% full. Right, so for this one, it looks like... I imagine the water will sort of fill up between those two circles. And then perhaps it won't get into the glass. So I reckon we probably need something a little like that, right? Yes, it's working. <laughs> It worked. Oh, that was a strong engineering solution. See, you only see that sort of solution if you have a decade's worth of drainage experience in the real world. Anyway, glass 98% full. So I think this next level should fill it up. There's confirmation we got three stars again. Then we're on to this level. Now, I feel like we're going to want to deflect the water. Like, I don't think, like, just doing that, that's not going to do, is it? I mean, oh, actually, a lot of water's going in. Oh, we did it. We used like no pen at all. 100% full bottle. If I claim, do I have to watch an advert? Or does it only have a play button if there's an advert? Let's hit click. Oh, there's an advert. Anyway, the game tricked me into watching an advert. I do get this nice bunny glass though. Oh, look how bunny-ish it is. Oh, we get a free prize. It's free. We've just got to watch an advert. No, you could save a thousand coins, Matt. No, I don't know what filling up our bottle did there, by the way. Does it just give us the ability to watch an advert? Anyway, right, for this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to build a return 
retaining wall. Uh, now, in real life, there's like, there's sort of two types of retaining walls. There's ones that are like dug into the ground. So like that, and then it would go like under the ground. You can't do that in this game. So if I do that, I imagine... Oh, oh, that does work. I honestly thought that would like slide off the edge. So what I was going to do was do like an L-shaped one. Now, this is actually what most retaining walls look like. Uh, basically, like if there's like ground up there, for example, uh, it's just the weight of that stops everything moving because it's like L-shaped. But uh, yeah, sweet. Three stars. I'll take that. Let's go to the next level. All right. So for this one, it looks like we've got to split to either side. I'm feeling like drawing a massive Saturn V rocket is probably the right thing to do here because that's going to split the water either side. <laughs> it actually works. Worked. It all worked perfectly. We got two stars. Oh, wow. I can actually watch an advert to get three stars. Uh, making my Saturn rocket the uh, the ideal solution there. But now nah, let's just move on with two. All right. So our bunny glass is a little bit a little bit worried here. Is the game telling us to make a... Oh, I think it's telling us to make a bridge to support the glass. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. So I'm doing my bridge down here because I, I don't just want it to fall. So again, we've made a truss bridge. Oh, what? It turned into a line. <laughs> it got flattened. That bunny must weigh a ton. Oh, man. I really really want that cup. I don't want to watch another ad though, but look at it. It's so cool. It's like a dog. Damn it. I am weak. Oh, how's painful, but we have received the glass. Oh, it's a sad puppy glass. I got to make it happy. Right. So for this one, we're actually going to be doing some proper structure engineering because I imagine if I just like, if we just start the level, yeah, you'll see oh, <laughs> the glass is happy, but it falls off the edge to its death. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to support this somehow. Now I feel like we've got two options. We can probably, we can use the grid lines to go super, super, Super sensible so we can just do like that decent alternatively we can probably over engineer this because what i'm thinking i don't i'm not convinced that this is actually attached like structurally if we build on there then we have to do like all sorts of surveys risk assessments uh, just to make sure that this is fine we know the pipe is fine we're drainage experts we put that there so i think we'll use this to hold the glass. If we build like our base there, we can then build a series of trusses to come over the level title and then up over this way where this will sit on the truss. Now, I had to do all of this in one one take without letting go. Otherwise, the level starts. Uh, what do you think? Will this work? I feel like there is a bit more weight on the right hand side than the left. But then again, 10 years of actual drainage knowledge. Surely I know what I'm doing, right? Let's let go. Oh, no, what? It deleted like most of it. Oh, no, it deleted it all. I'm guessing there's like a max of how much you can draw. Is there a max of how much you can draw? All right, so let's just do that. And then over here, we'll do like a massive spiral. So if all of this shows when I let go, no, it doesn't. Okay, so there is actually a limit. I mean, we still completed the level with that. Anyway, for this one, the glass is going to drop and we don't want to make that puppy sad. So a couple of options. We can do like the, the obvious and just do like a, a line across there. I'm sort of thinking though, if I like just wedge that in. Oh, wait, what? Was this one a trick? If I literally just do a dot? Oh no, it does fall. So I've just got to slightly off balance it, do I? So literally just doing that like how did that work the first time if i do that and then that yeah there you go we've wedged it we've wedged it oh that was actually that was actually quite good designing on the fly let's go to the next level oh so for this one i think it's gonna it's gonna fall off yeah, so what i'm thinking here we basically we do need to do a bridge again we want to make the top of that nice and flush and then wedge in everything else and for the structural integrity i'm gonna do an arch doing a nice little arch bridge. There we go. Oh, it's <laughs> the arch bridge failed. It failed. <laughs> Maybe I didn't wedge it enough. Surely wedged, right? Surely. We'll just do the flush top and then it should be done. No, it just falls down. Okay, well, what if, what if I can, I can support the glass underneath like that. And then if we, we come down to there, then we just need like a load of weight on this side. So if I, if I draw something that has a lot of weight to it, I'm sort of thinking like that sort of thing. And surely that will work, right? Because like, yeah, because that's, that's heavy. That's an elephant, that is. Uh, elephants are heavy. So obviously that counterweighted the glass and the water. And our bottle is 84% full. So this next one, a little bit trickier. I'm sort of thinking like perhaps on this one there's like there's like a giant ufo so there's the ufo it's very scary but it has it has a tractor beam now the tractor beam comes down it doesn't care about the cube but only cares about glasses so it's like it's sucking up the glass so that goes up like that and you, you can tell it's a tractor beam as well because like if you look over here there's like see 
That is, that's a cow. And that cow is also being sucked up into the tractor beam. But uh, it's, <laughs> it's okay because we filled the glass. 98% again. We're getting close to filling it up. All right, so if this one, we've got like, we've got steps going on. So what I'm thinking, literally just draw some steps. Oh, no, he fell. He fell down the stairs. Can I just prop this up? I'm literally thinking if I draw like a vertical stick. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, that is, that was well balanced. Perfectly balanced, as someone might say. Yes, yeah, so now the bottle's fill. I get to watch another advert. Lucky me. Right, so for this one, there's a triangle, the second strongest shape known to man. So I'm guessing the key is to send the water that way. Now, as we know, water to be deflected, it just needs another triangle. So if we do that, that is then filling up the glass perfectly almost and we got another three stars all right so for this one what actually happens if i stop it lands on there and then it falls off because it's unbalanced okay so we need something wedged between these that can like balance perfectly so i'm thinking something a bit like a bit like that perhaps yeah that works perfectly that is a very efficient solution right so for these next few levels i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna have a little go at speed running it's easy rce uh, that that failed <laughs> a little bit lower Yes. Okay, that's one level down. All right, next level, got to think fast. So literally do that. Let go. Oh, that failed. <laughs> All right, there we go. We did it. Second to eight. That's not too bad. That was quite fast. Okay, for this one, I got to drop there apparently because we're stopping balls falling down. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, so we got to stop balls again. So literally just do that and we're sorted, right? Sort of. Yeah, water's, water's in. We're good. This next level, we've got a ball that's going to come down there. I'll tell you what, let's just do that. I reckon that is the key. Oh, yes. I'm good at this game at speed running. And this level, I assume we just got to stop the balls. So perhaps doing that. Oh, no, the balls went in. Oh, the balls went in. That's no good because the water's half mixed with balls. It's terrible. So let's just wrap that and then we're good. Oh, are we good? Is enough water going to get over? Yes, it did. All right, some more speed running. What are we going to do here? I think we just do boosh, boosh. Oh, no, another ball. <laughs> yeah, you've really got to try and do this in like one, one hit. Come on. Oh, I'm so bad at speed running. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Still, we're on to the next level. We've got to we've got to just do like that sort of thing. Beautiful. Three stars as well. And then level 27, we've got to stop the ball. Oh, balls. <laughs> as I was going to say, level 27, we got to stop the ball. Ball. Do we do like that, maybe? Yes. Yes. I think it's worked. Yes, it has worked. Just. Only just. Yeah, I could get into this speed running thing. I mean, perhaps I'll have to call it like speed engineering. I mean, I don't feel like I'm being very speedy at the moment. Oh, that was a massive fail. <laughs> I'll tell you what, just a line over to there. That should do it. That should do it. Confirmation. All right. So for this one, I'm doing the old quarter pipe trick. I think like that. So, oh, that was close. That was close. Is enough water going forwards? Yes, we did it. All right. Then how are we going to speed engineer this one. I think I've just got to protect my balls. So if I do like that. Oh, they didn't draw. It didn't draw. <laughs> oh, speed running's harder than it looks. So what I wanted to do was that and then that and then loop over that side. Then it can't. Okay, it, did, it can rotate. I meant to do that side and that side. And there we go. So, oh, that was even worse. Oh, Matt, you're an idiot. Why don't you, why don't you just do that? Why don't you just do that? See, this is why engineers need time to think. Anyway, we're on to level 31. I'm done with speed engineering. It's it's too complex for me. Now, I'm going back to drawing efficient things. And this time, I'm literally just drawing, like, chode. Is the chode going to work? It's going to work. Eat it up, little puppy. There we go. Right, before we go, I just need to find out, can this game model a Tesla valve? So, I'm going to have to try and draw one first time. I think I want to do that. Curve that around. So we'll do a bit of that. That's where we want water to come out. So I better draw this around there. Make it sit on there. Then I gotta go all the way around the other side. <laughs> so if I just colour these edge bits in, it should make a bit more sense. So let's see. Does water get down? Oh, it does. The Tesla valves is definitely slowing the water down. <laughs> I mean, and we completed the level. I think I think that's a win. Does that mean this game has more complicated physics than city skylines? And then for level 32, I think we'll finish on PLB, peace, love, and breath. Bridges. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was happy glass or something. Happy something. I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.